Hey guys, Sonic Ranger here with the next toy review. So as you can see, it is Power Rangers. It is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original 8-inch Talking Ranger series. Notice they have their emblems on their diamonds, which is actually not right because in the show they didn't have their symbols on their diamonds. So it kind of makes me wonder if these figures are actually based off the television series or were they actually based off the comic series. So as you can see, they have their symbols on their diamonds. So yeah, your guess is as good as mine because I don't know. Hold on a second. So yeah, these figures came out in fall of 95 if I remember, and their price was $8. If I am correct, they were $8. It's hard to remember, especially when I don't have the packaging anymore, which actually had the KB Toys stamp on it with the price. So here's a look at the back, of course I'm going to touch Jason. I said a bad word. I'm touching Jason. It's not what you think. No diamonds on the back, but they did actually paint the back, even though the diamonds are missing. They went around the whole boots and gloves and painted in the diamonds, so that was nice of them. I mean, back then, Bandai actually cared what they released, and nowadays it's 3-inch, cheap-quality, hollow, deluxe Megazords, and no Dragon Zord. You know, seriously, that actually gets kind of old. People talk a lot about the Dragon Zord. Bandai promised we would have it in 2011, and I do believe they will keep their word. So just hang in there, guys. So, as you can see, well, of course, this is Jason, this is Billy, this is Kimberly, this is Zach, and this is Trini. Now, here's the one thing I can't understand. Wasn't 95 the start of Rocky, Adam, and Aisha as the Red Ranger, Black Ranger, and Yellow Ranger? And yet, these figures are Jason, Zack, and Trini when they talk. And as you can see also, I do not have the Green Ranger. So if anybody actually has one that they um, want to sell that's in good condition for a good price, hit me up. Don't make it too expensive. And you're probably wondering, why don't I just order one off of eBay? Well, have you seen one lately that's in good condition that's without Dragon Zord? Because with Dragon Zord, it's probably a fortune now since people assume that Dragon Zord's not coming out next year. Whatever. It's not hurting me one bit, but it would be nice to actually have him for the rest of my collection. But I do have Tommy, the White Ranger version. Paint it completely. And he's got the morpher buckle. What's up with that, Bandai? They just wanted to reuse body parts. They didn't want to actually create, use the time to create a mold for Tommy's actual buckle he had in the show. And I guess that explains why we don't have boobies. No boobies. So, Kimberly and Trini are men. In disguise. Gay! So, okay, I've wasted enough time. Let's get into the articulation with Jason, since he um, actually is my favorite ranger. Not my favorite color, but he is my favorite ranger of all time. Head can rotate full 360. The arms can go around a full 360. They can bend at the elbow. They can uh, swivel at the top of the shoulder, as you can see. The articulation is pretty grand on these figures. Best for stop motion, too. Wrist can go like that, so, you know, like he's waving. Hello! Waist articulation is nothing, but for the karate action figures, if I remember, they actually have waist articulation, which is kind of a sad since it is the same mold, but I guess because of the talking feature, that's why they had to throw it out. Legs can go up and go back. They can bend at the knee. He can swivel at the top of the knee, which is nice. 
and the feet can actually go pivot up and down. So yeah, pretty articulated and there have been actually quite a bit of stop motion work on YouTube with these figures. But I, I wouldn't use the talking ones, I'd use the old ones. Even though White Ranger, you can only get him as a talking figure if I remember. Actually, there's been quite a few molds actually that they've reused for them, including the movie line where they were all painted shiny, you know, chrome. But chrome chips pretty easily, so yeah, don't expect to see any review of that because I don't have them. Nor do I want them because, like I said, chrome chips easily and it just ruins the figure. So, okay, let's see how much time I got. Okay, I'm 550 in, so how's about we, well, I shut up and we just get to the talking feature. We'll start with Jason, and here's how I know that it's Jason, Adam, and I, Jason, Adam, Jason, Zach, and training. Because does that sound like Rocky? I don't think so. And very nice, too. I mean, they're actually loud. You, I don't have to turn the volume up. You can actually hear what they're saying. Let's do Billy now. All systems go! Very nice. And now we're going to... Here's Zach. Let's do it! Yep. That is Zach. Let's do it! Although it kind of sounds like Adam, it's still Zach. Kimberly? No, you're not. You're a man in a girl's color. Yeah. Trini? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. How can I forget this? Um, she doesn't work. <laughs> I tried replacing the batteries once, and I noticed that the wires were actually messed up beyond repair so yeah she's dead again the yellow ranger trini has been silenced once more <coughs> oh what come on come on now come on i had to i had to say it come on it's not like i really meant it but seriously guys get over it that was too long ago and for tommy Now, I really think that they stole this clip from his first episode as the White Ranger. Because it sounds just like him. And so, for a size comparison, so let me just get Tommy back in there. Here they are. Well, here he is. With their 8-inch counterpart villains. A putty patroller. You know, the ones that go... Uh, you get the idea. Yeah, that's not really a challenge for the Rangers. I mean, look at the size. Get out of here. <laughs> Here's another size comparison with a 5-inch figure, so you can see actually how tall they are compared to them. Super Legends Green Ranger. Bandai, hear me. Bring this line back. So, let's see, am I missing anything? Oh yes, their weapons. For their weapons, Green Ranger, the 8 inch one, never came with Dragon Dagger. They came with their Blade Blasters. He came with a Blade Blaster, which is weird. But Tommy came with Saba. As you can see, nicely detailed all the way. It looks just like what it did in the show. How you put them in their hands, there's a hole, there's the peg, another Trans 8010 rip-off quote, peg in the hole. I'm really going to try and stop saying that, but, you know, it's kind of hard when you're a Trans 8010 fan. It's really hard. Peg in the hole. There. So as you can see, he's got his weapon and he's ready to fight Goldar. Or any other evil space aliens that may happen to show up out of nowhere. Unfortunately though, I don't have any other evil space aliens for the 8 inch line except for the putty. Get out of here! 
Oh, he fell off the stand. So there you go, guys. I believe that's it. That is the 8-inch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toy review. And let me stand Billy up. He's being a pain right now. So there's a good look at him, if you can see him all the way. If not, I'll just move the camera. There you go. There's your look at each and every one of them. Again, the picture, Kimberly. So if you guys actually enjoyed this review, and which I hope you did, please write and subscribe. Seriously, subscribers. Um, I have about 43 of them, and I'm not really getting that many comments. It makes me wonder if you guys are actually watching this. I don't know. I can't force you, but um, I'm begging you to at least give it a shot. So, I will be coming back next week with another Power Ranger toy review because it seems you guys actually enjoyed those more than my Transformer toy reviews, which is um, it's fine with me since there really aren't that many Power Ranger toy reviews online. So, like I said, if you enjoyed it, rate and subscribe or at least comment below. And um, I will be coming back very soon with the first episode of the Decepticon story for Transformers Cybertron Adventures next week. So this is Sonic Ranger saying that I'm signing out right now, which you know. And, um, you know, just enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye, guys.